Another week is done and dusted. Admittedly, on eBay, it's not been my best by far. In fact, I've I've taken more as an auction house than what I've sold online on eBay, would you believe it? So my seven day total right now as of, geez, how is it five past seven already? Uh, is £309.29. and pence. I've not had my official slip come through yet from the auction house, but I think it's... It's definitely more. It's a hundred percent more than three hundred nine pound twenty nine pence. So, but it's just big bulky stuff. Stuff that's been sitting in my conservatory for the last year, if not longer. It's the sort of things where I'm more likely going to have more problems if I were to to stick it online um, because people are just just a gut feeling that these are the sort of items which would generate a problem in the future. So I thought, you know what. They're going to go for more money than what I've paid for them. They can just go. So it's just going to be another string to my bow, to be honest. Uh, so when the car boots open up in the next, potentially, two weeks or two and a half weeks, or is it three weeks? I don't know. Time is just all over the place at the moment. Uh, I know that I have the opportunity to, if I do pick up larger items at a decent price, um, I'll, I'll just stick them straight in the auction house and just not deal with it it's just literally pick it up from the car boot drop it off they've got my details anyway i've got to wait three days and they sling it over by backs which goes straight into my business account so it's perfect so i'm definitely going to be doing some more of that come the summer now i know that there's uh, a lot of um, people are bowing out of the way that they're doing videos and people are moaning that youtubers are ruining reselling etc etc don't forget, since the pandemic started, reselling has gone through the roof because people were trying to make ends meet while they were on furlough. Don't forget, a lot of people were on 80% furlough, so they were trying to do whatever they could in order to, to try and make up that extra 20%. I think reselling is going to take a massive nosedive when furlough's no longer a thing because getting up on your weekend well, from what I used to do was it used to be Saturday. I used to get up at five latest. Sunday used to be six o'clock latest. Not being funny, if you're working seven days a week, 99% of people do not want to do that. So by all means, let people have their RA. It's not a problem. I'm not worried about that because the markup normally is not particularly great. I was using RA over the lockdown period simply just to keep the numbers ticking over. The real stuff is or the real enjoyment of what we do is at the car boot and i don't think people are going to be sticking around because it's hard work it's a lot of work and the returns are not always guaranteed where if someone knows that they can just follow certain people online and they will tell them every single item to go to tesco's and buy they're more likely to do that however they're going to be spending 25 pound to maybe make 15 or 10 pound back profit after fees and everything else. So let them go and do that. That's not a problem. Let us get back to the car boots. Let us go out there and make an absolute killing. Metaphorically speaking, do not demonetize me. So without further ado, let's go back in time and see a few of the bits that sold throughout the week. We've sold a Wii game. Uh, we've sold Disney's Bolt for 4 dollars free delivery. Same with most games, not huge amounts of profit. But it keeps the store ticking over nicely. So yeah, another one bites the dust. On the PS3, we have sold the Platinum version of Just Cause 2 for $2.99 free postage. Not a great deal of money in it. It's just getting that free feedback. Well, it lasted about a day and a half, maybe two days on the Atari Street Fighter, excluding the pin, $14.99, including free delivery come as part of the massive Atari bundle that I bought a few weeks back. So I've been sent something from Mad for Miniatures and I said I would open up. I'd open up the, the contents on the channel anyway, and then we'll go from there. And after speaking to, to Vinny at Mad for Miniatures, uh, I, I said, look, do you want me to open the product? And he said, well, it's up to you. I said, well, it's, it's your call. Do you want me to open it or not? He said, yes. So there is a cool story behind all of this, but it's not my story to tell, so I'm not going to. And if you want to know what that story is, unfortunately, you'll have to go to him. And this cardboard box looks very familiar, because I 
I I sent some cards out to Vinny that he needed for his binder. And I'm fairly sure he sent the exact box back. He has as well. <laughs> well, at least it's recycling. Okay, what's in this? Because it's going to be one of three things. It really is. I can't get in it. I need to do it off screen one second because of addresses and stuff. Okay. Right, I've not looked inside the box. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I've got to try and do it carefully. I <laughs> this is <laughs> this is this is a, a booster pack. So this is oh, I need to compose myself. This is Neo Discovery. So we have a Neo Discovery pack. So as I say, there is a story behind this. If you want to know the story, unfortunately, I'm not the person to, uh, to, 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 to tell it. But I've I've never opened up a Neo pack. Never. Even the when Pokemon was affordable back in the day, I would I would always buy it was either base in English and in the Japanese stuff. Generally speaking, I would pick up uh, the gyms sets or Team Rocket. Never, ever, ever actually done Neo Discovery. So I'm very, very excited. Apparently, there is no card trick. However, I do want to try and preserve this pack as much as possible. So without further ado, let's open up a Neo Discovery booster pack from the year 2000 oh it's so crisp oh my god that's it it's done it's done straight down the spine oh that's nice uh oh, i don't really want to damage that too much Okay, so we have a Hyper Devolution Spray. Unknown F. Scyther. I love that artwork as well. Polyrath is the rare. So there was a card trick. Stupid internet. We have a Mareep. A Poliwag. Unknown E. A Centret. And a Larvitar. Followed by a Weedle. Oh, and a Hoppip. See, doing the card trick incorrectly has completely ruined everything. But that is a Polyrath non-hollow in absolutely amazing condition from Neo Discovery. So, again, a massive thank you to Vinny at Mad for Miniatures. Absolute pleasure to open this up. Um, I, I, I would never have the opportunity to do so otherwise. So really, really appreciated. And that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, has a horrible nick in the top. I would say it's going to be graded, but I don't think it's going to be because um, that's that's quite dented, which is a real shame. But yeah, even so, amazing card, and that's going straight into my binder. On the PS3, we've sold Tekken 6 for eleven ninety nine, free delivery. Lovely job there. I've got a package to open, although I know what it is. I picked up today. So this is, again, going off of one of the, the many, many uh, Facebook Messenger groups we've got going on. Um, we, we have a lot. And this one was a recommendation from the one and only Master of Pieces. So it's... It's an annoying tabbed box, but I think we're there. That is even written the grams on it, 450 grams. Lovely jubbly. So um, let's hopefully get inside the bloody box because he's put tape all over, which is annoying. But we're almost there. We're almost in the box. Inside the box, we have one. 
one 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 booster box. There's supposed to be two of these. Um, why has he done that? I bought two, and he's decided to send them individually, which is annoying. Huh. So I've had a delivery of what appears to be a Mad for Miniatures box. Mad for Miniatures is where I get most of my Pokemon products from. So be sure to check them out and use code JAMESCOLLECT for 0% off. But we have inside, it should be a little bit of a mixture. A mixture of stuff to loft for my own personal collection. Ho, 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 ho. And stuff to open up. So trying to do this one-handed is not exactly ideal but we do have some hidden fates tins and we've got two hidden fates etbs and i actually think this is the first time i've seen a hidden fates etb in the flesh um since it was released god knows when uh, when was it was it 2020 or 2019 uh, I, I can't remember did it say on here Either way, I've got two ETBs, so I'm going to keep the one in best condition, sealed for my own personal collection, and three, three tins, which I've already got three tins set to one side for my own personal lot. So these uh, other three are going to be opened up. Uh, probably do one big opening on on this channel and uh, split it down for the for my secret second channel as well. So a massive thank you to Mad for Miniatures for sorting this out for me. Highly appreciated. $3.99 including free delivery for Gran Turismo 5 Prologue on the PS3. Lovely. And a whole stack of uh, of Pokemon cards. I've got two more to add and that was $34.99 including free delivery. Um, yeah, one or two cards there. Had a nice little sort out and we are selling Umbreon EX from Fates Collide for $14.99 including free delivery. It's been up for oh, well less than a week so... Yeah, uh, I probably should have listed this a lot sooner. During the boom, it would have been very helpful. 1999, we've sold uh, Smithers, the Simpsons figure from 2002. It's Playmates, it cost me £4. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. By the looks of that tag, I would imagine that was sold through Amazon at one stage. But yeah, now gone on my eBay. 14 99 for... This is Mike and uh, and the tender set. Sold it for fourteen ninety nine plus postage, going via the GSP. This is the content I know you guys live for. We've sold Man of Steel, uh, blue no, it's not even Blu Ray, it's a DVD for one ninety nine posted. It's just uh, feedback fodder. Not a lot of money in it, if any at all. But I would have gone out my way to buy this individually. It would have been like four for a pound or something and you need to buy the extra dvd to to make it to that deal but yeah free feedback baby galarian sunfisk v sold for 12.99 including free delivery also sold my first lot of dr strange pin badges these i think i bought in london at a car boot about two years ago i bought 90 of them this is the first one i think i've sold Massive mistake, but then again, Doctor Strange 2, maybe they'll start flying out, but these were basically just promo stuff, so... Uh, although one of them the eye of Agamotto, so maybe they won't. Either way, huge mistake. Capcom Fighting Jam, fourteen ninety nine, Free delivery, it's been online for about a week or so. So yeah, the more you list, the more you sell. So we did a few auctions for the Sunday Waffle. Uh, admittedly, they kind of all ended after they should have done because of daylight savings but <clears throat> Blastoise went for £6 plus postage uh, Gyarados went for £8 plus postage Pikachu was £2.20 plus postage uh, I sold a bundle for £7.50 plus postage uh, we also sold this Elevira on the Atari ST for a very low £5.10 um, very very low I'm I'm hoping Whoever bought this is a subscriber and they'll let me know how much they get it for. Personally, I think it's worth at least 50 quid. Um, but it's, um, I don't know, content, I suppose. But there we go. Some of the bits are sold. And the, the binder sold for £35.75 plus postage. Lovely. I spot a mad for miniatures parcel. Yes, it is a Battle Styles booster box. A massive thank you to Vinny at Mad for Miniatures uh, for holding one back for me to add enough money to actually buy one. But yeah, looking forward to opening this and um, I might have to get another one for the sealed collection. Disc only of Mighty Number no. 9 on the Wii U. 
went for five pound plus postage, owes me a pound from a car boot. Oh, you know what? I think it may have been 2019. Maybe it was 2020. I've got no idea. It's been so bloody long. It's not the biggest pile, but this is going to the post office tomorrow morning. Click and drop, you have been my friend. I just wish that it would let me just do labels directly from eBay, but they have stopped me from doing that for some bizarre reason, which is really, really, really annoying. But that's it from me. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Otherwise, I will kick you in the shins. But uh, oh, that, that Vinny um, Mad for Miniatures thing, I actually opened it up a couple of weeks ago, but I was asked to, to not put it in uh, for reasons which I'm going to keep out of. But yeah, so that I've been sitting on that for ages and I wasn't allowed to post anything, which was absolutely killing me. But once again, a massive thank you to Mad for Miniatures down at Cornwall for sending that out to me because that was a massive nostalgia hit. I, I'm well aware that I have been, that I am quite privileged and I have been very privileged in the past to open up quite a few old school um, Wizards of the Coast packs. And there's, there's a few that I sold, which I, I regret not just ripping them open. I sold a, a couple for like 35 pound. I think I paid like a uh, 20 quid and I needed the money. So I sold three of them for, for like a hundred pound, which is stupid because a hundred pound, to be honest, you can find one way or another. And I, I sold my base set packs instead. But you live and learn. Um, it's just it's a shame that everyone else is uh, is now on the same boat. But yeah, I, as I've been rambling on for like an extra 60 seconds for no reason. So I will catch you guys soon. Don't forget, Sunday is Sunday Waffle, uh, 9 a.m. 9 a definitely 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sometimes we run a little bit over. We might have some auctions. We might not. We messed up last week because of daylight savings. But yeah, it is what it is. I am going to go and do some editing um, and make dinner. We're having halloumi flatbreads in case you're interested.